This is the reality of trying to dress a seven month old. The way TikTok influences me. Like, yeah, they might judge me in the moment, but once they leave that store, they're not gonna be thinking about me. So why do I care? Why am I putting my life on hold based on other people's thoughts? Hey guys, so I'm editing this video and I'm realizing that there's no intro. So, hello, happy new year, happy 2023. We're already like, oh, 10 days in, I think, or I think today's the ninth. But I just wanna say welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Skylar and I have a seven month old son that is absolutely adorable. He's amazing. He's like all over my everything. Um, and a husband. And I'm 24 years old, and yeah, I'm entering 2023 with super positive energy, positive vibes, good people, um, and a lot of intention. So, yeah, if you guys want to join along with me this year, make sure you go down and subscribe, like this video if you enjoy it, and yeah, so on with the vlog. Okay, so I just pulled up to Target, and I'm not gonna lie, I literally drove here in complete silence. And when I say complete silence, I mean like no radio, not a word was spoken, there's not a baby in the back seat. Um, Elias stayed with Anthony back at the house. Anthony got off work early today and I was like, I really need to run some errands and Aunt was not trying to get out of the house. So I ended up just, just leaving, which is weird. I know a lot of people are like, well, duh, like that's what you do. But like, I think this is probably my first maybe my second time at target without elias since elias has been born he's seven months old but yeah i literally drove here in complete silence and now i just need to run into target i need to get some things yeah i honestly kind of need to make a list because i don't know about you guys but when i go into target i black out like it's honestly it's kind of bad to be honest like i will walk in there and if i don't have a list I will literally walk out with nothing that I need like maybe one thing that's like super important but other than that like I just no I get so distracted with everything else and then I'm just like trying to get in and out especially whenever I have Elias because I don't have like all of my focus basically is on him so it's hard for me to like I don't know I just get overwhelmed okay all my focus stays on Elias so I never can just like walk around and like genuinely like stop and think like okay what else do I need so I always have to make a list so I have a list of like three things right now I need batteries, storage bins, tea tree oil. See, I already almost forgot. So anyways, yeah, let's go into Target and see what we can find. Um, I'm probably gonna end up walking out with way more than what I need, but isn't that normally what happens in Target? I think, um, but anyways, okay, let's go. The way TikTok influences me. I see a lady on TikTok that has these and she said that she's been using it for her kids ever since they started teething and Elias has four teeth, about to be six. So I'm getting this and we're gonna see if it works. And my cart is already filled with a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Okay, so I'm back from Target. We're gonna just gonna go through this really quickly what I got. So first I got a storage bin that's flat because I need to put this in there that my grandma made for Elias, which is super cute. I think I showed you guys this in the last one. But yeah, she made this, so I needed somewhere to store it because it's like super, super delicate, and I'm really hoping that this fits in that box. But, um, so I got that. I got, um, Elias needed more bath soap. I got a scrub. These are my favorite scrubs, the tea tr the tree hut. I almost said tea tree. Um, I also got tea tree oil makeup remover batteries some of this stuff is really boring makeup wipes hair tie hair ties and then i got this this i seen this on tiktok and a lot of people were going crazy about it this is the highlands natural baby oral pain relief um this one's for daytime i didn't even realize that it was for daytime but anyways um so everyone was going crazy about this on tiktok saying that they use it whenever their kids are teething and it's not as like strong as Tylenol and Motrin and stuff like that. Like it doesn't like harm them. So you can give them to give this to them more often. And there's 125 tablets in here. So 
We're gonna try this out because he now has four teeth and there's two more that's breaking through at the top of his mouth and he's been in a lot of pain the past couple of days and they're like about to poke through like any day now. Hopefully this will help him and I don't have to give him Tylenol as often which I try really hard not to during the day. I only do whenever he's like in a lot of pain um, but I pretty much have to give him Motrin or Tylenol like almost every night um, which is terrible. So I want to try these out and see how he reacts to these and see if he likes them and see if they actually work. So yeah, I'm really hoping. I, I have really high hopes for that. And then lastly, I got a new soap dispenser for our bathroom because I ended up moving the soap dispenser that was in our guest bathroom to the kitchen for dish soap. And right now there's a holiday one in there, but I need to take that one out. So I needed a replacement one. And this one is so cute. It's like a stone type of material or whatever and then it has a black top on it anyways now i'm about to see if i can put this christmas tree in this bin because i really need to put it up in the attic i'm tired of having the christmas decor out i've already put up most of it there's only a couple things that didn't fit in the bins because like of other stuff that i bought oh i should have got another bin for the garlands dang <gasps> literally Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna end up putting more stuff in here later, like more Christmas decor and stuff, but I actually have to go take it down and do all that, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm just gonna put this in here, or put the little bubble things in there, and then... I'll do all that other stuff later. Don't feel like it right now. so I can put your pens and button up your onesie, okay? This is the reality of trying to dress a seven-month-old. Come on, bub. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Hey, let me see your leg. Uh, Hold on. I need your foot.
Don't go anywhere yet. Give me your toes. You need, dude, you need sacks. No. <laughs> Sit down. Be still for two seconds while I put socks on you. Hold on. 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 Oh my gosh. All ready to go. Show me your outfit. Stand up. Wow. <laughs> Dad's game day buddy. Oh. So today is Sunday, which is football Sunday. Oh my gosh. I almost said Super Bowl Sunday, but definitely not Super Bowl. I think this is the last game of the regular season is what I think Anthony said. But everyone's going to be coming over. So we're about to... Hey, stop screaming, baby. We're about to run over to Walmart. We're going to... I think we're going to make like burgers and hot dogs and stuff like that and kind of just grill out. It's very, very pretty outside today in Texas. Say... Um, yeah, I think that's what we're about to do. Can you please stop screaming, bub? So, we are going to, um, finish getting ready. I just got Elias ready. I just got out of the shower. And then, Daddy's in the shower right now. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna head to Walmart and come back and grill out and eat some good food and good vibes and good people. So, yeah, that's what we have planned for today. Mm -hmm. This little boy is filled with energy and he's driving me crazy already. He just keeps doing that little scream thing. Oh, are you saying hi? But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna let him play with some toys while I go make him a bottle and get his stuff together and hopefully he like gets some of this energy out because this right here. Yeah. Okay, play with your toys, papas. I love you. Mommy's gonna go get your bag ready and stuff, okay? <laughs> to Costco and got a bunch of stuff and then now we're back at home and it's making ribs and turkey burgers and I'm just chilling with Elias he's swinging in his swing I sewed that swing together myself so appreciate it but yeah aunt is making ribs turkey burgers and I think like some little jalapeno sausage things and everyone is gonna be coming over soon no one's here yet but yeah, as you guys seen, Elias played me and wouldn't go down for a nap, so he had a couple he had a couple snacks and now here we are. So anyways, now we're just waiting for everyone to show up. And then football time. Hopefully Cowboys win today. I have literally no idea who we're playing. So yeah, I have no idea, but we'll see. But we have to win. Wait, we wait, what'd you just say? They suck, so we might lose. Like we're only losing in sorry at Why? That's just how it is. It's not easy. Ribs, steak, 
that's it? Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, and then the potatoes. I was like, I thought there was other stuff. Uh. Oh, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you. That was delicious. Mm. 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 <laughs> We're the last two standing. <laughs> yeah, the last two. So everyone already <laughs> left. We. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, baby. It's almost 10 o'clock and this little boy is still not asleep. Uh, yeah, I went through the entire routine, bath time, like uh, fed him his bottle, whatever, he fell asleep in my arms, went to go lay him down and he literally sat up and started laughing. Uh, the uh, exact same thing that happened during his nap that you guys seen earlier. I don't know, I don't understand, but he's just not really that tired, I guess. I just had him in his jelly jumper and he started getting really upset. Uh, I guess he's like actually starting to get tired. I'm just basically uh, trying to wear him out right now. But yeah, I'm editing the footage of like everything that I've filmed in the past few days. And then I'm about to finally put this little boy down to sleep. Hopefully he goes night night because I'm tired. Anthony's already passed out. Anthony has to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go to work. Say um, he went ahead and went to bed. And now it is just us hanging out. Yeah, I know. You got a lot to say right now, don't you? Every time I pull out the camera, he literally just talks or screams so much, and it's so weird. But I, I think he likes the camera for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, so I will pick this up tomorrow because tomorrow I need to rearrange his entire room because right now it is a complete disaster. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go put him to sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, guys, so I just got a little bit ready. Elias is taking a nap right now. Um, so I just did a little slick back ponytail and just a little bit of makeup just so I can feel put together. But I was just thinking the entire time I was getting ready that, like, I am so grateful for the life that I live. Like, genuinely. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have a seven-month-old, beautiful, healthy baby boy. I have an amazing husband that takes care of me. I feel like my husband and I, we literally have like the fairy tale story. So I met him when I was a little girl. <laughs> I was literally 14 years old. Um, and then we've been together ever since. We've been through hell and back together. We fought so many battles together. And we are standing strong. And now we have a beautiful baby boy that we brought into this world. And it's just crazy how much we've progressed in life. And I was thinking about how like I have always taken care of everyone around me. And I've taken care of myself, but I haven't, like, been an overachiever when it comes to myself, if that makes sense. Like, I will, I fully support my husband and everything he does um, to help him reach his goals and to help him do what he needs to do. And um, I've never met my goals, I guess, or, like, stuff that I want to do and stuff that, um, like, gives me a purpose in life. Like, I feel like my only purpose right now is to be a mother to my son which is perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with that i like that is my purpose in life and i stand by that 100 percent. but there's other things that i want to achieve and i feel like 2023 is the year to do that and i know it's so cliche everyone you know in the new year says oh new year new me oh I'm, this is my year like da, 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 da. but like i genuinely feel like a change of energy i i don't know how to explain it but this year i genuinely feel like this is the year for me not for you know everyone else not for me to sit back and take care of everyone else and not focus on myself or not do anything that benefits myself me as a person basically this year i really want to achieve my own goals i seen this thing on tiktok where this girl made a bingo sheet out of her 2023 goals and i did that and I don't know if I want to share with you guys my goals, but uh, basically I am I want to like black out on that bingo card. Like I black out means like fill up every space or like knock off every space or however you say that. So there's a lot of things that I want to achieve this year. And I will say one of them is being, I want to be consistent on YouTube. I genuinely love doing this. I love making videos. I love showing my family, showing off my family, you know sharing happy moments with you guys sharing sad moments with you guys like doing all kinds of stuff like that so i genuinely feel like this is the year for me to take off on my youtube i guess or for me to 
achieve my specific goals on YouTube and for me to make a like career for myself or make a an image for myself or I don't really know how to explain it but um, cuz like I don't have to be working I don't need to make YouTube a career I don't even need to get paid for YouTube I mean I do but you get what I'm saying like you I don't need YouTube to pay the bills but I want to do it because I want to do it I want I want to be behind the camera I just love it so much and I love showing off my friends and my family and the things that we do and this year there's a lot of things happening so we're already have two trips planned we're going to Hawaii and we're also going to Disney World um, so that's later in the year um, and then also my son is gonna be turning one it's also my 10 year anniversary with my boyfriend or my husband but it's our like dating anniversary of 10 years and then it's also our one year anniversary of being married but I feel like this year is gonna be like a big jump for us and I feel like the the companies that we already own are starting to take off which is amazing um i just have like such a grounded feeling i guess or like such a like this past couple years i've been such in like a mind fog like i my memory is like terrible i haven't been taking care of my health i haven't been drinking water i haven't been going above and beyond for myself and stuff like that so yeah, I don't know if any of that really made sense to you guys. I mean, it makes sense to me. Moral of the story, subscribe and join me along with, you know, achieving all of my goals and my dreams. And I want to bring you guys along with me. And I think it's going to be so much fun. And I am sick and tired of using the excuse of I'm scared of what other people think. Every time that I'm going to go film somewhere, I'm like, oh, you know, so-and-so is going to judge me. Like, uh, Becky across the hall or across the aisle does not know who I am, does not care what I'm doing. Like, yeah, they might judge me in the moment, but once they leave that store, they're not going to be thinking about me. So why do I care? Why am I putting my life on hold based on other people's thoughts? I'm just done pleasing everyone and I'm going to start pleasing myself. And um, another analogy is my house being dirty um every time anyone comes over it does not matter who it is i feel like my house has to be completely spotless i have to set that image and my that reputation that i just live a perfect life and you know my home is always clean and you know whenever people come over like i want you know every like floors to be mopped like stuff like that and i spend time making my house a show house whenever I should be spending time with my son or with my husband or doing things that bring me pleasure not just trying to bring other people pleasure like that doesn't make any sense like of course I want people to feel at home at my house and I want people to you know come over and like think my house is beautiful and stuff like that but I'm it, it causes me stress <laughs> which is like insane to think about like something so small like my husband is literally running multiple companies and he's a contractor and or a general contractor and he like has to do all these things and i'm over here stressed because my house is dirty like that isn't i don't know so anyways i'm just this year i'm going to focus on my goals my priorities um of course my family of course like that's a given but i really want to make something of myself i mean i have a lot to show for it but at the same time like i feel unfulfilled i guess like i have my family i have you know all that stuff but i feel like i need a another purpose i guess i don't know like i said i don't know if any of this is making sense to you guys but it makes sense to me so um i'm gonna start posting a lot more because i I genuinely love it and I film all the time stuff that you guys don't even see um, and I film and then I go and I edit it and I'm watching it and then I overthink it and then you know I'm and then it crosses my mind that like oh people aren't gonna like this like people are gonna think this is boring and then I never post it I'm just gonna start posting and if you like it subscribe like it comment and tell me what you think and if you don't just don't watch it I mean it's as simple as that if you don't like it don't watch it Anyways, with that being said, um, I was going to rearrange my son's entire room in this video, but I think I'm going to do that in the next video. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoy, please subscribe. Let's be friends. Um, let's hang out. <laughs> I will be posting a lot more, okay? And I've said that before, but this time I mean it. It's a new year. I'm, I'm putting my foot down. I'm tired of being scared. 
Okay, well that's it for today's video. I will see you guys probably next week. I'm gonna try to post every week. Um, hopefully on Thursdays, Wednesdays or Thursdays. Um, um, but it may vary, but I will be posting. So I will see you guys later. Love you guys.